course, Game Development Basics. This is the intro for Section 1, Basics of Unreal Engine Development. Section 1 will start from the very beginning by downloading and installing Unreal Engine. During this section, we're going to explain the purposes of a game engine. We're going to build our game programming foundations using Unreal Engine Blueprints. And we'll create four projects from scratch using Blueprints, Ball Maze, Bug Squash, Haunted House, and Space Fighter. These projects start out slow, and by the end of this section, we should have a very good understanding of Unreal Engine and Blueprints. Here's the breakdown of Section 1 and the content in each week. Week 1 is Unreal Engine Basics. We'll start from the ground up and start building your knowledge of Unreal Engine. In week two, we'll learn more about actors, timers, and loops while we make bug squash. In weeks three and four, we're gonna dig into level design, components, and sound. We'll also touch on interfaces and event dispatchers while we make haunted house. In week five, six, and seven, we're gonna create Space Fighter. And during this project, we'll learn about inheritance, structures and data tables, and we'll cover something very important to every game developer, source control. The last week of this course, we're gonna revisit the projects and we'll apply the lessons that we learned to each of the other projects so that we have four finished prototypes by the end of this section. Here's some tips for this section. Pay attention to the lesson objectives at the beginning of each lesson. These give you an overview of what we cover. If you hear the lesson objectives and you feel like you already understand the concepts covered, feel free to skip that lesson, but I also recommend just sticking by. None of the lessons are terribly long and you may learn something anyway. If you're new to Unreal Engine, then I recommend you don't rush through the content each week. Spend some time learning and digging in. The first two weeks are gonna cover the absolute basics, so this may seem a little bit slow to someone that's had some experience in Unreal Engine. Again, I recommend that you complete the content anyway. You might be surprised what you learn. There will be challenges throughout the course, and the intent of these is to challenge yourself before you watch the content. My recommendation is that you at least try to do it on your own and develop those skills, because this in the end is gonna make you a more self-reliant developer. In each of the projects, I recommend that you take a little bit of time to put your own personal touch. Don't make a carbon copy of my project. Try to make one that's unique to you and challenges your skills. And this one's a little bit hard to quantify, but try to have a mindset of learning rather than just following along. If you find that you're just pausing, following exactly what I do, watching a little bit, and then pausing it again in that cycle, you're not really learning or absorbing the content. Take some time and really try to understand why we're doing things the way they are before moving on. And the last tip is to lean on your community resources if you get stuck, and this could even mean reaching out directly to me through the comments. I hope you're as excited as I am to get started, and I'll see you in the next lesson.